Hey, what's up YouTube? Good morning and welcome back to another video. My name is Spencer Burke. We're over here in Hollandale Beach right now and uh, this is my first time, well, I'd say my second time experiencing the Florida rain, I guess you could say. As you already know, we're over here at your mode of performance today, if you can't tell. And there's something here that I wanted to install. We just had to wait for some time to open up to do it. If you saw one of my last videos, but today, pretty obvious, we're gonna install a roll cage from Studio RSR that is powder coated in gloss yellow. If you guys didn't know, my theme of my car is gonna be black and yellow. That may change soon. The accent color is gonna be yellow. We have a lot more coming, but this is kind of the first real mod for the car, I'd say besides suspension and wheels. Your motor has their own dump pipes too for F80s and a bunch of other cars too. They're working on a cool line of products, which is nice to see doing in-house stuff. And they got wheels too. Let me see, which one's my favorite? I like Bricks and Forge, that top left one's nice. I got way back with them too, man. Good history with that company. The last few days, if you guys know as a YouTuber, sometimes you get a little bit burnt out, spent some days off from making videos, and now we're back again. Uh, I wanted to modify my car, and I was gonna wash it yesterday. Thankfully, I didn't because it's been raining. So uh, I wanted to tell you guys that I finished up a bunch of maintenance stuff on the car. There's still a couple small things that I need to take care of here and there, but as you know, that's how every car is. We recently just did these new exhaust tips on the car. Can that bird shut up? And I haven't done any big mods to this car. I have done wheels and I have done suspension. But at the end of the day, like, yeah, I've done headlights and the front lip and the grill. And it's it's really minor stuff. I haven't really done any, like, real mods to the car. I don't know if a roll cage counts as it, but that's one of my first, like, mods I want to do to the car. On top of doing a couple of, I don't want to talk about it too much, but, okay, maybe I have modified the car a bit. But yeah, I just want to keep going. So let's, uh, let's install this cage. So I'm gonna go run over to get uh, some Starbucks right now just because I know I'm gonna be here for a while because we have to figure out a vibration issue. We have to put the roll cage in. I know I'm gonna be spending the day here and I need to get food. I haven't eaten yet today and I I literally only have that. So I'm gonna go grab, whoops, whatever, Starbucks. lifesaver right here. I do this about twice a week, man. It keeps me going. It keeps me happy. So, got my coffee. Finally feeling a little bit awake. Gonna pull the car in right now, and we'll get started. So if you guys remember from my E90 that I owned, I had a Studio RSR cage in my previous car, which I loved. It makes the chassis much stiffer, and for me, mostly for looks, that's why I like it so much, is that it just kind of looks cool um, in pictures and in videos, and I want to just see what the car would look like, especially in yellow. I had a couple different cages in my previous cars, in my Subaru and also my E30. I don't know what it is, but I love caging these cars. So take out the back seats right now, and uh, we'll start installing the roll cage. So one of the main things that we're doing is we're taking out the front seats just so it's easier to see the full install. And I decided that I'm gonna take out the rear seats too just because if there's a cage in there, I know it would probably look a little bit better to have the seats in there, but for me personally, I'd rather just strip the interior. If you've already seen the front, you know I'm going for like that GT4 look, the race car look, which is what I prefer. So I think we're gonna give it a shot to take everything out um, and just make it easier for the install. And I don't know, I like the look too. By the way, look how sick these are. These are Dwayne's wheels for his Raptor. He just ceramic coated them and he has black lug nuts coming too. So sick. Uh, actually, so you don't need to take that back out of the side. You 
go down on your side. I'm down. And I'll go up. Okay, we're in. Okay, we gotta go over this carpet. All right, just lift it up. We're gonna have it flush. Okay, before we do this, we're going to put on a protector mat over the center console. Absolutely. So you're going to have it bent. This way. I think so. Yeah. Hold on. All right. Watch the carpet down there, you see? You're getting caught up right now. All right, down. Let's see if we go forward. Sweet, look at that. Light butter. What's up, dude? What are you up to? Just need an alignment. Uh, I want to yeah. uh, It could have been because I was on um, different tires. They were, I don't remember. They, no, 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 they were a different one. I don't know if the Advan makes any sense. The T37s. Well, every sidewall runs so different. Different, yeah. I'm gonna use my uh, punch. I haven't seen it since you put the coilovers on. How's the car drive? Bro, beautifully. Like, honestly, I don't know why people talk about BC Racing coilovers. They're really, really good. The ride quality is amazing. I mean, it looks like it sits way, way nicer too. No, much nicer, bro. It's more. I had a lot of rake before, but now the car sits a little bit more evenly. I got you. But that back tire is tucked. Right I know. Up. It looks so good. <laughs> it's crazy how such a small touch can do such a big thing for a car. That's what I'm saying. And like the 15 millimeter spacer, like yeah, it was a little bit more aggressive, but I like the way this sits in the fender more now. Yeah. And I look at it, and I don't get any rubbing with it, so I'm happy. It looks good, man. Thank you. You getting it? Yes, sir. So you just cut an X into that, right? Yeah. Just cut an X and then we make pilot holes and then we do our last drilling. And how many holes did you make on that? Three actually. Three, okay. Mm -hmm. So then that, that cut will just form around the roll cage itself so you can't even really tell. Correct. the other one on top here and then we tighten up the bottom you're just gonna roll this carpet out nice So basically what we did is we cut three holes in both sides of the behind the passenger seat and behind the driver's seat and then we put bolts through them with washers on them. So there is cutting required but not too much. As you saw in the video it's not drastic. You just got to make sure that you measure everything and you cut once and it went perfectly smooth. So he's currently tightening the bolts on the bottom and then I think we're good. Got it. Thanks. So I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Studio RSR. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Currently finishing up right now. And as you guys know, like I said, I had it in my E90 and I wanted to do another one in my E92. 
I don't know what it is about cages, but I love them. But if you want to check out Studio RSR right here, they have some really good deals going on if you guys want to check out a cage for your car. They do multiple cars too, so not just BMW, but a lot of other cars as well too. Also, a big thank you to Your Motive Performance. We're going to be back here hopefully in a couple days to do a video on their shop tour. They have some of the top best equipment that you can get on the market along with this snap-on toolbox, which we'll do. Really cool tour of it. I'm not going to show you guys too much of the shop, but if you've been watching my videos, you know this is the shop that I go to. And uh, yeah, we're almost there. We're almost done. Oh yeah. Bro, just put like a little Home Depot chair in there. <laughs> I'll put a little like crate, <laughs> a little beach chair. <laughs> oh my God, look how strong it is, bro. Well, that's brute strength right there. I am absolutely so happy. This looks so cool. I don't know if you can see it behind me, but just seeing like the yellow accents in the car, it's so sick, so sick. Just got my Motorsport Hardware extended bolts. I'm super stoked on these. This is so heavy, but there's uh, all four sides of the bolts that go on. So these are basically extended and also lug nuts too. So we're gonna install this probably in a different video. No, it looks great, bro. What do you think, bro? Oh man, that's amazing. I can't stop taking videos of it. <laughs> it goes together really well when you do the calipers. And shit, Dude, the calipers will pop too. When you wrap this thing, that color, man. It's my first time seeing my rear view mirror. It looks so cool behind me. Oh, I can see it in the camera. Yeah. <laughs> it's so bright. Dang. It makes me so happy. Mods like this make me like really, really stoked. Oh, damn. In their legs. Yeah, it stands out a lot. It adds a good like accent color to it. We get it from the front. From the front with the scoop there. Got my yellow intakes right here. Looks so good with the cage. All right, well, once again, a huge thank you to Your Motive Performance. These guys are awesome. If you're in Florida, over in Hollandale Beach area, they do everything as far as the performance, maintenance, and everything in between. And also, obviously, upgrades to your car. If you're looking for anything that you need, they can hook you up. Um, we're gonna come back in a couple days to do transmission mounts because I'm having a vibration issue and also, I don't want to say it, I have more coming. There's a lot more coming for this car. So thank you. Thank you, Your Motor Performance. And thank you to Studio RSR. I appreciate you guys. All right, thank you. Oh, appreciate it, man. Anytime, man, it was a pleasure. Thank you, I'll see you next week. Okay. All right, All right. see you, Carlos. What's up, man? Appreciate always, it. Brother. Good seeing you as always. I'll see you in a couple Enjoy days. Enjoy it. I'm going to be honest off the bat. I know that, like on camera, you can obviously pick up like the sound and the expressions and stuff like that. One thing you can't pick up on is the overall feeling of how this car feels. Wow, 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 wow. I've only gone straight in a, two blocks and I can feel the car is so much stiffer. Like, unbelievably stiff. You can feel the chassis feels much more rigid. Because when you hit bumps a little bit too. Oh dude, it's so sick in my rear view mirror. <laughs> the only issue is, is that, oh. So the only issue I have right now is that looking at my rear view mirror, I'll post a picture right here, looking at my rear view mirror, <laughs> the, the wing and then the cage, the top part of the cage and the bottom part of the cage, the X brace, you can't see anything on the back window. Well, <laughs> you can't. I'm trying to make it work, but you can't. I think I gotta take off my wing. My E90 was the same thing. You couldn't really see anything on the back window. But dude, this is sick. This looks so dope. Ah! Finally, man. Finally. CEO of clapping. I'm so happy. I'm so stoked.
So I just got home. It is about 5.30 or 6 p.m. I was at your motive since like nine in the morning, so I'm pretty tired, but I'm gonna edit this video. If you guys see behind me, I have a new setup here and I'm super stoked on it because I've been doing reviews on my other channel. Um, I've been doing Amazon affiliate marketing. So I have a lot of cool products that I've been buying and testing lately. So if you wanna check that out, it's the link in the description for my second channel. I also go to 7-Eleven to pick up these little cars. These cars here are only $6 each or $7. And I just picked up three new additions. I got a Huracan Super Trofeo. I picked up a Corvette C7 race car, I think, and a Subaru Hawkeye, I think it's a 07 rally car. This was my favorite year for this rally car. I picked up those three and then I have these guys here which I'm super happy about. So I'm gonna keep buying these and if you want to check out my Instagram I post a lot of them there. Just finished up raining over here in Fort Lauderdale. I don't know if you can tell but my voice is like completely gone. <laughs> I've been talking all day to all the technicians and to the guys at your emotive and uh, my voice is just like completely trash. So I'm gonna end the video here. It's Friday. I'm gonna chill and get this up online and then car shows all weekend and hopefully some feature films soon. So thank you guys for watching. If you can shoot me a DM on Instagram that you watched the video. I'd appreciate it. it helps me with feedback and support I'll see you guys next time and once again please thumbs up the video helps me a lot and subscribe I'll see you next time peace